fall is synonymous with pumpkin spice, cooler temperatures, and even cooler sweaters, and of course, the changing leaves. Look at those colors, but there is a mystery to the vibrant leaf colors we have grown to love and expect. And here to join us to talk about the science behind these amazing images, Dr. Christy Rollinson. She's a forest ecologist at the Morton Arboretum. Uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it, Dr. Rollinson. Thanks for having me. I'm always happy to talk about fall color. <laughs> okay, we are happy to talk about them as well. Sally has been ready for this for weeks and weeks now. So give us an idea of the science behind some of these color changes. The, the leaves go from green to red in some cases, to yellow in some cases, to orange. Uh, what can you uh, tell the layperson about why this is all happening? Way more than you ever wanted to know. <laughs> the bottom line is that it happens because Y'all probably knew this, but winter in Chicago is rough. And most of our trees that have those big, broad leaves, they just can't survive the winter that way. And so kind of like you have to time to pack up the pool, pack up all your fun summer gear, trees have to do that with their leaves. But the cool part is that the changing of the colors is really the removal of green from the leaves. The green, the chlorophyll that makes trees produce all their energy the trees have to put a lot of energy and nutrients into it. So they're trying to recoup their investment. Mm. And in the process of doing so, it brings out these yellows that were always there, but kind of hidden. And then some other trees like our maples and some of our ash varieties produce a red that helps in that process and gives us a great color show throughout the fall. And you always have a great show there at the Arboretum, but I understand you're also studying this, doing some research. Tell us about that and why you're needing to do it. Yeah, fall is such a mystery. It is so complicated to figure out when the best color is going to be and then even what it means for the tree. We know that it's getting nutrients back from the leaves, but we don't quite know what that means for tree health going into next year or how much the vibrancy of color this year really tells us about how healthy the tree is and can be an early indicator of uh, a tree doing well or poorly. So this is something we're really looking at for multiple reasons here at the Arboretum. We understand that uh, you and your staff are currently forecasting a more usual leaf changing season. What, what does that mean? Yeah, so at least out here at the Arboretum, but we haven't had a lot of extremes this summer. We had a couple hot spells, but nothing dramatic. We didn't have any droughts uh, like some areas of the U.S. and even our own region here had. So right now it's kind of business as usual, we think. But the biggest predictor that we can tell so far of timing of fall color and its vibrancy is October temperatures and October weather. So it could all change. But right now, that means that we're looking for pretty good color and probably kind of mid to late October is the best guess. OK, so and you are hosting a month long fall color festival there at the Arboretum. Tell us the details on that. Oh, there is something for everybody. Uh, we have the glass pumpkins coming up in mid month. Uh, we've got the Cider and Ale Festival, one of my favorite times mm -hmm. to go back to work, but not to work. Uh, fall Color Run on October 1st, uh, Wine Taste on October 6th. And one of the great things is that because of the diversity of trees we have here at the Arboretum, if you're just wanting to drive around and kind of get beyond that main area, there's going to be color somewhere and it can be kind of fun uh, scavenger hunt to go find it. That oh, sounds like yeah. a lot of fun. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, Dr. Christy Rollinson uh, with the Morton Arboretum, thank you uh, for running us through that. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.